So last year I decided that I mean yeah. not summiting a uh, yeah. but I want to trek to the base camp of Kito. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to I want to do that. Like that's something that I'm like okay. Hmm. I like walking this much. I can do like hmm. I can. So I feel something similar with uh, bikes. You know, uh, you know, and it, it, and when when you're in it. Uh, you can't hear anything else. You can't feel anything else. It's it's just amazing, and that's why I believe two wheelers and being on bikes has has inspired me in a, in a in a similar way. It's mm. the right amount of freedom. It's the right amount of uh, power that I need on the road, and it's the right amount of adventure that I need. And then it became the transformation, and then it became and then Rahi happened in my life, and it it changed so many things because I wrote it myself because I went to a couple of writers. <laughs> They sent in their drafts, and I just couldn't feel it. Uh, I was talking to the director of the show, and he was like, "It has to be your thought. It has to be your words. Uh, you have to write it yourself, no matter how good or bad, because it's your truth at yeah. the end of the day." And when I did that, uh, it changed everything for me because I thought there's so many things that we don't address, and there's so many misconceptions, and we have these preconceived notions about people, ideas, and beliefs, and when you go out there and you really experience it yourself, I believe that everyone should get up and get out themselves and go and go and find your own truth. Hundred percent. You will be 100%. surprised. You will be surprised how different it is.